Hello everyone, it's Alex Techworks here. In this video, I'll be talking about my 2022 desk setup. I'll be running through all of the tech items I use daily from my MacBook Pro to my mouse and keyboard. I'll also talk about my cable management, desk lighting and desk planting to create a productive, tidy and inspiring home office. Let's kick things off at my desk. I purchased this desk from Wayfair back in September last year. It was around £115 or $150 and was under my budget of £150. I feel this style of desk is a gaming desk rather than a home office traditional desk. The raised corner edges and profiles are a real giveaway with that point and particularly the retro style red lookalike LED strips, but they are just stickers. The top of the desk has a carbon look to it and I feel this blends in nicely with the dark theme that I have going on. The assembly of this desk was pretty straightforward, all the allen keys and bolts were provided and it took about an hour. I would say though the coffee holder isn't very secure so I've removed that. All in all it's a good desk but in future I would like to upgrade to a sitting and standing automated desk. Let's go on to my shelving. Above my desk are these IKEA pitcher lead shelves called Mosslanda. I have the 115 centimeter across the be behind my monitor and the 55 centimeter to the right of my desk above my PS5. Again, in black to tie in with the dark color theme I've got going on. On those shelves, I keep some random personal possessions, which include my obsession with Starbucks coffee mugs, a cool alley key set, and this weird black candle. These shelves are also used to store my PS5 and PS4 controllers. You'll also notice I have this draping artificial plant and an artificial grass plant too. These are both again from Ikea and are both called Fedjka. I think that's what it's pronounced anyway. For around six pounds, they really add a bit of nature to my setup. Let's talk about the monitor I'm using. The monitor I'm using for both gaming and work is a Lenovo L28U-30. It's a 28 inch 4K Ultra HD monitor that runs at a 60Hz frequency. Now you may be wondering why I didn't opt for an ultra wide curved monitor like so many have. This is mainly due to the space constraints on my desk and I didn't want a curved monitor to completely take up all my desk space. I feel this monitor serves my purpose for both gaming and working and I can easily view all my apps when I ping them to the side for editing videos. It's perfectly wide enough for me. This monitor was priced at around £219 or around $300 when I purchased it, but now it's priced at £279 or $380, but the price does fluctuate quite a bit on Amazon. My Lenovo monitor has been mounted using this cheap single monitor arm I purchased from Amazon. It provides the ultimate flexibility to maneuver my monitor whether it's rotating it or moving it forward and backwards. The monitor arm also has a great cable management that neatly tucks the cables up underneath the arm and it pleases my obsession with hidden cables and cable management. All in all, this monitor arm serves its purpose very well for around £23 or $32. Neatly tucked and hidden under my IKEA shelf is where all my sound and audio comes from. This Sharp HT-SB140MT 2.0 soundbar produces phenomenal sound for when I listen to music and game on my PS5. I was a bit skeptical about using a TV soundbar for my music and gaming, but I was actually blown away with the quality of sound output. This soundbar comes with a handy remote to adjust the EQ levels during gaming or listening to music. The all black design ensure it blends in nicely and looks hidden amongst my desk, which in my opinion looks very cool. Let's move on to my on-desk items. My on-desk and everyday use tech consists of this Apple Magic Keyboard paired with a Logitech MX Master 2S. I've been using my MX Master 2S for around three years now, both at my desk and in the office. I have to say, the MX Master 2S has been one of the most useful desk items that I have. The infinite scroll allows me to bla blast down PDFs and zoom in and out quickly when editing photos. The slim profile of the Apple Magic Keyboard and optimal angle makes this keyboard very nice to type with. Both the Apple Magic Keyboard and Logitech MX Master 2S are wireless and can be charged via a lightning port on the keyboard and micro USB on the mouse. I am however looking to upgrade to the MX Master 3 in the near future. 
As I flick between the office and my home desk, I like to take my MX Master 2S with me. The button underneath allows me to quickly flick between my Windows PC at the office and my MacBook at home. I really think this is a cool feature that can't be overlooked. My keyboard and mouse are both sitting on Delta Hub's minimalistic desk pad. What I've got here is the Ultrasoft desk pad that comes in at 18 inch by 32 inch and it fits perfectly to my desk. This desk pad works flawlessly and doesn't snag and allows my mouse to glide smoothly across my desk which could be a concern. The underside has small rubber dots to prevent the desk pad from moving and I've, got, I've had no issues whatsoever. I'm also using Delta Hub's Carpio 2.0 ergonomic wrist rest to provide support for my wrist during long stints of editing pictures and videos. I've got it in a size L and it fits the palm of my hand perfectly. The underside glides amazingly well across my desk mat and I even forget it's there sometimes. Both the Delta Hub desk mat and the Carpio 2.0 are available in different sizes and colors. Just have a look on their website for these options. Sat in this vertical laptop stand is my 2019 Apple MacBook Pro 16 inch. This MacBook Pro is the base model with a 2.6 gigahertz 6 core Intel Core i7 processor and AMD Radeon Pro 5300M 4 gigabytes Intel Ultra HD graphics. Wow, that was a mouthful. The internal storage comes in at a 500 gigabyte SSD. I use this MacBook Pro since its launch in 2019 and it has performed faultlessly with editing images, videos and other work. I would love to upgrade to the Apple's new M1 16 inch MacBook Pro but I just can't justify the extra when this MacBook does everything I need it to for now. My MacBook Pro is currently sat in this Omaton Amazon vertical laptop stand. This stand has adjustability to suit almost any laptop or MacBook and comes in four different colors. I opted for the black to blend in with my space gray Apple MacBook and the overall dark theme. The rubberized halves on this vertical laptop stand ensure my MacBook Pro doesn't get damaged or scratched when taking it in and out. The base is sturdy and it has a huge rubber non-slip pad so that it remains secure when lifting out my MacBook. It's a great bit of kit for £20 or $27. I'd highly recommend. Let's talk about lighting. I'm a huge fan of RGB lighting and when I saw these Govi light strips I just had to get them. As my main desk light I'm using the Govi Glide wall light which I've configured in an L shape up the wall. I've tried these lights in various positions and I've now found the perfect location for them. The light strips consist of six sections and one corner piece. It would have been nice if they provided another corner piece in the kit for maximum adjustability and positioning. But for now I found the perfect spot for them. These LED light strips are mains powered and the cable length is long enough to ensure that they can be tucked away. My secondary ambient lighting also comes from Govi. These LED light strips are highlighting my personal possessions on the IKEA shelf that I mentioned previously. All Govi lighting can be controlled via the app, which is easy to use and it even set up timings so that they come on and turn off at correct times. Being a huge fan of the MCU and particularly Iron Man, I purchased this Marvel themed wall art from Displate. These all metal printed posters are perfect and really suit my home office and dark theme. I was a bit skeptical at first they were printed on metal, but once they came for the post I was blown away. The quality is second to none and they are dead easy to fit. I opted these in a size M in a matte finish. I think the matte finish really blends in with my wall paint. Let's talk about cable management. I, like most tech enthusiasts, aren't a fan of cables, especially unsightly ones sprawled across my desk. I like to keep a clean, cable-free look to my desk as I feel it looks less cluttered and unsightly. To manage my cables and power banks, I have cable tied or stuck the extension sockets to the underside of my desk. To guide each cable, I have used sticky back cable clamps and Velcro cable ties. I'm again not trying to display awesome cable and power brick management, but I'm hiding the cables as best as I can. 
all in all, I think my cable management is okay. I've just neatly hidden all my cables to make sure they're out of sight and cleared from my desk. So that's it. That's a run through of my desk setup going into 2022. I hope you liked it. I feel my desk setup is optimized that I'm as productive and comfortable as possible whilst editing images, videos, and any other work that I need to get on with. What do you all think? Is there anything you would change? Do you have any questions about any of the products? If so, let me know down in the comments below. You'll find all the items I've listed in this video in the description below. So if you're looking to improve or create your perfect desk setup or home office, be sure to use the links. I really hope you like my desk setup and this video and don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel as it really helps me out. Please make sure you turn notifications on so you don't miss my next upload. You can also catch me on Instagram at AlexTechWorks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.